people say, but how did you know you weren't male? And the answer was largely because everyone kept telling me so and I knew they were right. Well, it's just absolutely crucial that trans people find a home along with every other minority group in a party that successfully fights for them. And one of the reasons things have got better is that people have started to be committed to equality. You know, the, the welcoming, uh, the, warm, the warmth, the welcoming atmosphere really touched me and it made, it made a huge difference. On social media, anti-trans activists often say trans women are dominating all trans activism due to supposedly male socialisation, giving them more confidence. I think this is totally unfair because most trans women I know say they suffered abuse and violence growing up objecting to traditional male be behaviour forced on them. So it's, this is not really absorption of male socialisation. And you see much more discussion of trans women than trans men because the media and anti-trans activists want to focus on trans women because they're seen as more controversial. It's great that there, is, there are now spaces where we can talk about these issues and be listened to and appreciated rather than have to really fight to be heard. We need to allow people to air their concerns and not to dismiss them as just dismiss them outright as transphobic because as soon as we do that what happens is that the argument becomes ever more polarising people should stop listening. Yeah. Momentum has given a voice to a young generation that are amazingly supportive and amazingly committed to human rights. But the point is that if you give people their voice, if you listen to people, if you allow the people whose lives you are talking about to actually express and explain, that will do more to move along the debate than anything else. Such a, you know, Momentum is obviously like a really progressive organisation and, and the people here tonight, fantastic. I never realised that we had so, so many fantastic allies. I really love the trans community because they're, God, it's really, they're really funny and they're lovely. <laughs> like, some of the best people I've ever met are through, like, trans events and they're, it's a community that I'm really proud to be a part of. We're all poorer when anyone feels unable to fulfil their potential and contribute to society. This is true in politics and it's something that all of us need to step up and take responsibility for.